she smiles just for a fraction of a little while and everything was warm again inside she's got a sunshine smile oh the kind that warms up the corners my cold room she's got a sunshine smile Oh, the kind that makes you forget again Glastonbury, clouds in the sky. And second day of the festival, and Pete from Adorable has joined us here in the, the backstage area. Welcome again to 120 Minutes. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here. We were just discussing before the cameras started rolling your lack of sleep and your new Sega computer game and the excitement of being at Glastonbury and driving down this very morning to play. A whirlwind of a conversation. <laughs> We've all got it all out of the way. But you're going to stay now. Now you've, you've got I excited. Have, I have. I was, uh, was sceptical about uh, about the such festivals yeah. and uh, festivities, but having come down and sampled it for myself, I decided to uh, to try and find someone with a tent and uh, and convince them that, that I should, I should, should stay. You should be in that tent with them. Yeah. Or you can all sleep in your car, I suppose. I suppose, but it's, a, tight, it's, it's a Fiat 500, which... Uh, I, you couldn't you couldn't fit a small thing in, so and being a slightly larger than a small thing, I have difficulty sleeping. So you're going to find a tent. So you have. That's my mission for this for this afternoon. Oh, it's, it's a worthy mission that uh, I wish you all the best on. So you're not you're not been a festival person before yourself, then? You're not no, always. one day at Reading was is uh, my only baptism into the uh, into the heady world of festivals. Yeah. How did you find performing out there today? Um, remarkably pleasurable. Yeah. Um, it was. Uh, it was really good, just um, sort of just winning over people, yeah. and uh, it's like we just really love playing live. It's it's uh, part of us that that maybe doesn't come out on record. Maybe that's like part of maybe it's something that we're doing wrong on record. But it's yeah. like when if we play live, there's definitely a certain element that that really comes out. I think it's basic uh, um, extrovert yeah. -ness -ness. getting out there and doing. Or you could say, if you were a terrible presenter like me, that you adore it. <laughs> and I only say that. But of course you wouldn't say that, would you? I'd never say anything like that, but we will take a look at being adorable. Being a class performer. <laughs> adorable, thank you. On stage. You're so beautiful. You ever wanna watch your bleeds ever so slowly? Age. And you've just been over to Europe performing or recently? Yep, we have indeed uh, did a handful of dates in uh, the Low Countries, France, Germany and uh, Switzerland and they were all remarkably superb. Yeah, you enjoyed it? They were spiffing. <laughs> spiffing. Do you find it out there, was it, was it completely different to the UK or would I mean, you say you worried maybe about having to start again as it were? It was... Well, at, at first we're, we thought that going out to Europe would be like doing the first ever tour that we did in England, which would be playing in very small clubs to sort of 50 to 
to 100 people, but all the gigs were, were like really, really well attended yeah. um, in quite big venues, and uh, um, it was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. I also found myself that generally, uh, it's a huge generalisation, but people are a bit more open-minded to all kinds of different things on the continent. UK can be a bit... I think um, Box. I think in England it's much more insular. Maybe maybe because uh, um, the independent music scene is so much more reliant upon uh, the music press. Yeah, oh, you knew that word. Yeah, well, I was there with Heard you. those words as well. But um, can be good and also can be bad. Exactly. But 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 when uh, a band's career in in one country can hinge around uh, the editorial policies of two um, yeah. broadsheets and. Uh, um, I th it is very limited, seeing as people don't even get to hear the music by reading reading the press. And sure. in out, out in Europe, I think people base it much more upon what they see on why on your own fine show, Paul. What can I say? Yeah, but it's true. Far healthier. Anyway, I wish you all good health. Thanks for joining us again, and, we and do. Uh, we'll take and a we, look at you. And we'd like to say a, a hearty hearty hello to ev all our fans in Europe. This is the show to do it on. Adorable on stage. <laughs> Hello, we're Dodge.